Jackson, to all the ministers that are present this afternoon, to members, visitors, and friends. We are the three generations, the Jones, Richardson, and the Gardner family. So we're going to take it back. We're recognizing our uh, black history moments in our olden days. So we're going to take it back with our hymn. After our hymn, Tion will come with the scripture. And then Torian is going to come with the prayer. Say amen. Amen. Trust against us. It is not a temptation, 
for the Lord's evil. Thy king, power, glory, and forever. Amen. 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 God Almighty this evening, to Pastor Jackson, all ministers, the leadership of this church, to our many visiting friends. Y'all yeah, just look like a, look so good to me this evening. Nice looking crowd of black people. sing the black, the Negro National Anthem. A lot of you are not familiar with it. I think we need to get familiar with it. Because when we're at a football game or some type of sports event, before that game starts, we have to stand up. That's right. And we have to sing the National Anthem. Oh, say can you sing? Yes. And you're going to stand up and sing it too. You know. So right now, I'm asking you all to please, everyone here that's black or not, to stand. And what I'm asking you to do this evening is to join hands. Join hands with somebody.
King Jr. fought for equal rights and Rosa Parks stood up for what she believed in. Now today, on this occasion, we celebrate the accomplishments of our Black Heritage history. As we continue on this journey, let us not forget where God has brought us from. The elite chamber singers. These young African American vocalists began their formal musical training together at Overton Creative and Performing Arts High School under the intense guidance and training of the late Dr. Lula McEwen Hedgeman. After graduation, these young ambassadors represented their God, family, and instructor at various historically black colleges and universities, as well as other liberal arts institutions of higher learning. Having been molded and shaped as they matriculated, they were blessed to come together to do what they did best, sing. On November 24, 2001, these few friends and voices of harmony began rehearsing for what seemed to be a one-time Christmas season engagement. In the hearts and minds of a couple of members brewed some fun future plans for this awesome bond. Before long, the, the singers were receiving and receiving invitations coming together for rehearsals on a weekly basis. The elite chamber singers officially formed a fully functioning vocal performing organization, extending their services for all occasions and affairs on Saturday, January 5, 2002, at the home of one of the members, Mr. Brock Brown. The elite chamber singers wished to rebirth the concept of chamber singing in the pattern of jubilee singers and glee clubs of old. The elite chamber singers show versatility by performing various genres of music including spirituals, sacred secular octavus, jazz, show tunes, ballads, and gospel. The added touch this chamber group possesses is a modern flavor of style and distinction in their vocal abilities and overall aura of excellence. It is my distinct pleasure to present to you a collaboration of melodic voice, the elite chamber singers, under the direction of director Composer extraordinaire, Mr. Brock Brown. Please receive him. body of American sacred songs commonly called Negro spirituals. These songs express both in their words and in the way they are performed musically the deep religious feelings of the African American people. They are an important part of the American cultural heritage and are now recognized globally as anthems to liberty that can be fed the deepest aspirations of the human soul. The great majority of Negro spirituals are very old. In a lot of cases, the tunes and rhythms are so ancient, we can trace them back to Africa. Earliest spirituals known were taken from passage from the Holy Bible. 
using scriptural things to tell us about the grief and trials of slaves and to voice their hope for deliverance or rest. Though opposed or uh, though oppressed, it was the songs of the slaves that gave their faith a boost. I done got over at last. The chariots are coming. Swing low, sweet chariot. Wade in the water, wade in the water, children. Donate them all to the Lord, and I won't take it back. Listen to one of the greatest contributions to American sacred music, Negro Spiritual.
Hold on.
And when the doors of educational in institutions were open for former slaves, it was the Negro spirituals that helped to fund those institutions of higher education. Fisk University's Fisk Jubilee Singers and Tuskegee Institute Choir are well-known choirs that tour the United States and Europe to sing Negro spirituals to raise funds for their schools. After the Civil War, African American musicians arranged Negro spirituals. The storm is passing over. Charles Albert Titley, Deep River, Harry Acker Early, lift every voice and sing. John Rosamond Johnson, Old Ship of Zion, Precious Lord, Search Me Lord, Thomas A. Dorsey. Jester Harrison, Mary Little Boy Child, and Moses Hogan, Battle of Jericho and Elijah Rock. Negro spirituals are ever present and alive today. Thanks to the elite chamber singers and various choral groups who continue to sing these songs rich in melodic structure, we will be able to preserve a very authentic art form known as Negro spirituals.
speeches uh, that the people have to start playing the music at the, you know, the Grammy Awards and Oscars and everything like that. But I just want to take an opportunity to thank a few people uh, for having us here today. Of course, uh, this sign, Church Reverend Jansen. He's in the sound booth. He's something about a, a, a pastor of a church that don't mind running sound, singing in the choir, playing the piano, all of it to make it work. Amen. And uh, this, of course, this fine church fellowship of believers in Christ. We thank you for yet another invitation. This is probably our fifth or sixth time being here, and so we are thankful for the opportunity. Um, Joyce Henderson and the Ushers Department. Amen. I met Miss Henderson and Miss Henderson. Wonderful, sweet spirit. Um, you know, and they were very accommodating and giving us what we needed on yesterday, so we thank them. Amen. And of course, I cannot uh, leave here without thanking our family. Amen. That they, even if y'all weren't here, they were going to be here clapping loud and hollering. Oh. 
out of the air and bring them into manifestation for our ears. What an awesome
then he's willing to give you some of those even me drops. Yes. He's willing to let some of those drops fall on your life. Yeah. So that you can experience why we lift our hands and say, oh, how I love Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. The doors of the church are open. The Spirit has moved you today. Touched you and told you in this time to change. Get up from where you are. And let him into your heart. Let him make you brand new. And I declare life can be and it will be so much better. Yes. When you have Jesus on the inside. Because yes. if you have Jesus, you have more than enough. Yes. And, and God can do anything but but fail. Are you here today? Yes. If you're here today, you get up. I want to tell you then, as they sang, you got a mention of God. <laughs> Is there one? Is there one?
just watch over yeah. 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 I just really appreciate y'all coming out this evening. And uh, we had a young man uh, tell me, you know, we had people come every Sunday. I want to thank every person that got up on Sunday. And uh, Dr. Nichols came back and said, well, Pastor said, not only can we do something on Sunday morning, we can do something on Wednesday night. Oh, Sunday and Wednesday. Yeah. But our young people stepped right in, and, and, and we had something each Sunday morning, each Wednesday. And I had one young man, I asked him about singing uh, either the Black National Anthem or the uh, Battle Hymn of the Republican. He said, I can't sing nothing but Trey songs. I said, baby, if you can sing Trey songs, I don't know what Trey songs sing. I said, but if you can sing it, then you can sing some of it too. But I, you know, and, and listening to these things, I just wanted to let our young people experience this, these songs today. Amen. So I just thank all of you for coming out. I want to thank everybody that did anything this month. Thank you, Andy, and the chamber singers. Amen. Uh, Sister Ruby told me she wasn't going to be able to do anything in the kitchen today, but she came right on back and fell right into place. And uh, I want to thank Jennifer. Uh, she and Ruth have been with me every year. And Sandra, I think, came in the second year, Sandra Johnson. And she was going to try to slip out on me this year, but we just kept on calling her. She said, I called her one time. She said, I'm at work. I said, well, we'll see you when you get off. <laughs> and she came on over anyway. And she's our new kitchen committee. Uh, she said, you know, our, our theme was remembering a dark past to walk into a bright future. Yeah. So Sandra stands on that bright future side for our new uh, uh, culinary ministry. Yeah. And uh, so she, she really helped me out on that. And I just want to thank everybody everybody in here for what anything that you've done. Amen. Come on, give it up for Sister Chloe.